Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side. Oh, Day we hustle, but the night we. What's going on out there in YouTube land? TNT Neon Prime here, back with another Transformer review, and this time it's going to be on Commander Cyber Cyber Commander. Optimus Prime and there he is standing tall in his 10 inch point two glory and just found out today they have two variants of this guy um, this this is one of the variants and where you see gray and uh, like the silver on the silver on his arms is his iconic colors blue and red <clears throat> Where this part is red right up in here, and that his part right here will be blue. His fists are blue. Uh, everything is gray will be blue. And his legs, the vent area will be uh, like a metallic uh, silver or gray. But other than that, everything else about him is the same. So like I said, a two variants of him. Um, you can get this guy off of Amazon for thirty dollars. If you have Prime, you can get him free. Um, so, a uh, little quick story here. When I first saw him, like I've been had him now for almost a month, two months. So I just now I'm doing a review on him. I did a little homework on him, and they were saying it was hard to get this guy in the states, and they did not. You didn't release, he didn't release here in the States, so you had to get him um, imported. Uh, but now you can find him on uh, Amazon. So, yeah, that's how I got him. So, yeah, I've been trying to do, a, you know, review on a bunch of stuff, and I still got other stuff in the works to do reviews on, and I decided to go ahead and do one on him. All right, so let's get into the packaging all right so there is the packaging and as we have here as we have here we have a nice uh artwork on the packaging we have him standing here on this package also we have him in his truck form here he is a six step changer um, nice looking Optimus Prime right there. We had the Autobots, uh, the Transformer Generation logo here. Yeah, Optimus Prime there, ages six and up. All right, we have a little logo here on the side. We have some um, artwork here on the side, is on the back side as well, and it shows his six steps. So. <clears throat> And we have Optimus here on the side as well. All right, so we put that away. Like I said, he has six steps into changing him. Um, so, but first we're going to get into his, what's going on with his, how, how he's looking and his distinguished head scope. Also with that other prime, his head scope here, let me get in there, let me zoom in on him. All right, so right here with his head scope, the other prime, his whole face was blue except for, of course, his mask and his face. Uh, this part was blue also the vents were blue where mines are silver and of course his iconic uh, uh area here this was silver also in there well you know like i said other than that like these areas here was blue with the uh, uh gun metal painting here also these areas here was gun metal painted uh, this area right here was blue also right here was blue i want his fist was blue and his arms were blue but other than that like i said blue blue 
But other than that, that's about the only difference in it. So, so let's get back into this. So there you go. He has a nice looking chest area. The head sculpt look real good on him. Uh, the stack, smoke stacks look real good also. Um, nice ab area. Nice legs. We have the have what two, four, six, eight wheels on this guy. So a nice area right there. Um, nice solid legs there. Let's zoom back. Side legs there. Only hollow points you have is here in the back of the arm. And here in the back of the fork, the bicep area, tricep area, there and here. So them pretty much is the only hollow areas. Here. He's some nice wheels on them, also. Yeah, so yeah, that looks real good. All right, so let's get into some articulation. All right, bring that down. All right, so his head is on a ball joint so it can swivel. Also, he got some nice light piping back there. This whole back side is light piping. Head on a ball joint so he can look up. He can look not much down, but no, he can't look down at all. Look left, look right. Um, he has a tilt, slight tilt, slight tilt. And his arms... And you hear that first ratchet's legs on the ratchet. His arms are pretty much on the ratchet. If you look inside there, you see the ratchet joint. So you get a full 360. We have a outreach there. Of course, I got his elbow bent. We have no swivel on the arms, but we have a bend here and bend. So that's about as much he can get on a bend. Also, with that saying, we have a not a waist swivel, but a chest swivel due to transformation. Also, his legs has a full kick for it. Has a full, almost a, yep, we had a full kick back. That's due to transformation. Also, he has a... Side kick also. Um, well, that's knee do not bend. It will it would been good if that knee bend so so he can get some good poses, but other than that he can get some, but surprisingly he does have a ankle tip. Not one to the left, but he do have one to the right to the inside. Also the same here up here. All right, so that's about it on that stacks uh, still. Um, so, and the fist can tilt in due, due to transformation. All right, so when we come back, we get into uh, a little bit of size comparisons. All right, here he is alongside with Optimus Prime. From the 2007 movie, either 2007 movie or Dark of the Moon, this is the one that has the trailer that could turn him to Ultra Optimus Prime. Um, so if y'all can, you know, get a sense of that. Here he is with um, the new release Optimus Prime, the Smash Changer. Smash Changer Optimus Prime. Um, as of course we thinking that may be uh, Beast, the uh, Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. All right. Bring these guys back out of the picture. Slide him over. And here he is with uh, my. Here he is with my. Yolo Park model kit Optimus Prime. You see, so he ain't too much shorter than he ain't too much shorter uh, 
the too much short shorter than uh, my Yellow Park uh, Optimus Prime. All right, enough for that. We'll bring them back for some size comparisons, and uh, we'll bring we'll come back and do a uh, transformation. Then we'll do a size compar size comparison of vehicles. All right, let's get down to transformation. For first, what we're going to do, bring them up a little closer. Gonna focus in on him. So what we're going to do, we're going to take his hands, we're going to flip his hands down, up, up in the, the, the cavity area. I'm turn it around so you can see what I'm talking about. So flip them up inside the cavity, cavity, cavity area. I can't get it, but you know what I'm talking about. We're going to take his arms, we're going to bring his arms up. Bring his arms up like so. All right, then we're going to take, bring his head. Folks, I like to turn his head around where the light pipe will be facing the windshield. And then we're going to take his head down. We're going to take his arms and bring his arms back. And right here, there's a pig area right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Right, so peg area here and it's going to peg right into this slot here and bring them together and lock them in place. You're going to take and rotate for 360. Then we're going to take the area here and bend it like so. Take the legs, put them together. They will peg in spot. So there's a peg here in the hole here. So that peg right in the spot. Then we're going to take, like I said, right here. There's also going to be a peg hole here and two pegs here. And drop them, lock them in. And there he is in his truck mode. So zoom in on him. Said there he is in his truck mode. Um, now with that other prime, this like this thigh area was uh, the same color as his as my uh, prime forearms, or about the color about the color of this uh, smoke stacks. And it looked his gapage didn't look as good as this one which i can work with this this gapage area but it could they could have put something here to you know close this up like and have you know have this fold out or something so that it'd be a false gas tank where well, this would be gas tank in this transformation mode but have something that could like came up cover the wheels up and flipped over and locked in here so it'd be like a false gas tank but you know, I guess I can work with that. And also got a little bit of the gapage here on the top. But there his truck mode. And his truck mode looked pretty good. He got the side view mirrors, which we saw that in his chest area. Because we know this is a chest area. Transparent blue uh, windshield. Um, we got the silver smoke stacks. Of course, you see... With the hollow points is up under the cab area, which is not too bad in my opinion. Um, his arms pretty much look like it might be like a tanker, could be part of a tanker truck. Um, there his feet. Um, also, that's about it on that. Uh, you can see see why I say he turned his head around. So you won't be able to see his face because all that just folds down and what have you. 
Um, but other than that, in my opinion, I think it's a nice looking uh, truck mode. Alright, so let's get ready for size comparison. Alright, so get ready for the size comparison. Here he is along the 15th anniversary pack Optimus Prime. You can see it's pretty good, good size over him. Alright, here he is along the side with Siege, Cyber, Wolf of Cybertron or Siege, Siege Cybertron, um, Optimus Prime. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, he is with the Smash Changer, Cyberverse, quote, quote, unquote, uh, Rise of the Beast. Optimus Prime. Alright. And I did a review on this guy. So y'all go check this. Check the review out on this guy. I think this is a pretty good toy. And also a pretty good collector item to have in. Because we truly think this is maybe a second alt mode for Optimus, maybe, maybe not, and Rise of the Beast. All right, so with that said, we'll come back with our thoughts and re uh, finish up the review. All right, and there he is, Cyber Commander Optimus Prime. And I think he's a very good looking, very good looking um, uh, Optimus Prime, very good looking. Um, as far as, uh, is this a toy? Yes, it's a toy. It's, this is made for the child, the children that, you know, be rough with them and can play. But also, I think it's good enough to sit in my Optimus Prime collection. So, he will be a part of my, uh, Optimus Prime collection. So, uh, but other than that, I think he is, you know, um, he might not be a must-have for everyone, but he's definitely a must-have for the people who like different versions of Optimus Prime. He is a very good-looking uh, Optimus Prime. Um, he's my second biggest Optimus Prime besides my uh, Yolo Park uh, Optimus Prime. So, yeah, so there is the review on... Um, Commander, um, Cyber Commander Optimus Prime, and like I said, you can get him off of Amazon for about 30 bucks. If you have Prime, it's free shipping. Um, of course, everybody know how Prime work. Um, so if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. You know, also, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for the next video that pops up. Um, and y'all have a good night, good day, or what have you, wherever you are located at in the world. And as I always say, God is good all the time. TNT Neon Prime out.